At Homerson, we've taken a, a proactive and planned approach to the use of radiographer reporting and it's allowed us to deal with the activity demands as they increase. We have a, a team which report across modalities, across systems to provide some increased capacity which allows the consultant radiologist to concentrate on the more complex uh, cross-sectional imaging and to perform imaging guided interventions and biopsies. With reporting radiographers and increasing the number and bringing them into your department and training them, it's not about replacing consultant radiologists, it's about making sure they do the activities they are best qualified for. All radiographer reporting and radiology reporting is, is based on teamwork. It's about focusing on the best outcome for the patient. It does look like you might have radiology is not unique in the changes in roles of allied health professionals. And certainly without the reporting radiographers, we would have longer report turnaround times, which then means the patient doesn't get their results in a timely fashion. There is established diagnostic capacity barriers, and one way to introduce sustainable, safe and effective diagnostic capacity is to introduce integrated radiographer reporting. When I commenced work here at the Homerton, we had a small number of reporting radiographers, and this has naturally grown over several years. The relationship would have been the radiographers acquired the images and the radiologists did the reporting. Um, and there's been a natural evolution in this. We offer an immediate reporting service to our skeletal patients who are referred either through the emergency department or from primary care, whereby a reporting radiographer provides the definitive clinical report at the time of examination. We've also introduced a novel radiographer-led immediate reporting service for primary care. It's also enabled our clinicians to know that an appropriately trained person provides a clinical report in a meaningful time frame. So we have targets for all primary care imaging to be done within 24 hours. Similarly, for examinations performed overnight within the emergency care setting, we are aimed to have those reported within 24 hours. I'll report the x-ray for you. If we didn't have the support of a good reporting radiographer team, either we would be sending work out to the independent sector or possibly abroad, which is something I'm not generally keen on because I feel it's better to have people that are working in the environment of a hospital where they know the clinicians, they know all of your pathways. One of the ways that we integrate radiographer reporting is by encouraging and facilitating attendance within the relevant multidisciplinary team meeting. It's very important they work as part of the team and it's very important they work in a supportive environment. It's important that people feel able to ask questions, ask for help. Having the reporting radiographers at that meeting enables the radiographers to see the entire patient pathway, to receive follow-up information about what may have happened to a difficult or tricky case and it also allows the referring clinicians to understand what the radiographer's background is, to understand the contribution that the radiographers can make and it's that building of mutual trust which actually provides a meaningful reporting service. We have a strong uh, governance process whereby radiographers complete a period of double reporting and mentorship. Uh, it always involves the consultant radiologist mentor checking reports but also some of the experienced reporting radiographers. The support of the consultant body is really important. So certainly our X-ray reporting radiographers, if they've got a difficult case or something they're not sure of, will confer between themselves because we have a large bank of reporting radiographers. And then if they're not at all happy with what they've seen or they're not confident, they will come and ask one of the consultants for uh, an opinion. Advantages for the consultant radiologist team and thereby patients as well around having reporting radiographers in your department is by freeing up some of the initial reporting time. Uh, this means there's more time for consultant radiologists to do those more complex activities. Radiographer reporting is based on strong evidence which shows that radiographers can provide safe, effective and efficient reports that they are accurate and that they can be used by clinicians to ensure appropriate management decisions are taken.